Hi guys, this is Sprite, the graphic artist here at Condé Systems, and today we're going to be talking about how to use templates for all of our new phone cases. All you have to do is first find, of course, go to Condé.com and then go here to our drop down menu and find the type of phone that you want the template for. We're going to be using the iPhone 6 Plus. So click on it and it'll bring up all of the different iPhone 6 Pluses that we offer. We're going to use this one just for demonstration. Just click on whichever one you want and it'll bring you to the page. Scroll down to the bottom and you have the gallery which is awesome. This is all of our clients gallery. You can look find great ideas here. You can find reviews, blog posts, videos about it, also instructions. But what we're going to be working to, with today is the templates. So click on the templates tab and then click here to download. But before we do that, we want to find a place to put all of our templates in. So what we're going to do is go to our desktop and create a folder for our templates. So all you have to do is just right click on your desktop, go to new folder and name your folder templates. Okay so now we'll go back and we'll say click here to download and it will automatically download a, the zipped file go to extract all files and it's going to immediately default to your downloads folder but we want to put it in our templates folder so all you have to do is just say browse and since our templates folder is on our desktop all you have to do is click on templates say ok and now it's going to download the template in our templates folder so just click extract and here we have the four different types of files that our templates come in. We are going to be working in Corel Draw today, so double click on the one that has the .cdr behind it and it will bring it up in Corel Draw. Now what I like to do is I like to bring the template into my artwork. So just click on the template and do copy and paste. Control C is copy. Go to your artwork which we're using the anchor artwork today and then do a control V which is a paste. So here's our template and here's our artwork. You want to make sure that your artwork is grouped together and then right click on your artwork and go to power clip inside and then just click on your template, the outline of your template, and there you go. You now have your artwork inside your template. And once you have it inside your template, there's a couple of things you can do. If you look down here, you have a couple of different boxes, and if you hover over the boxes, it lets you know. You can edit the power clip, you can select the contents of the power clip you can extract the contents or you can lock it. Well just for to show you we're gonna edit it and we're gonna make it smaller to make the anchors look smaller. So all I'm doing is just shrinking it down and then once you're done just click on this button here stop editing contents and there you go. You now have your iPhone 6 case ready to be printed and sublimated. I hope this video has been helpful to you. For any more videos or and instructions, be sure to visit condi.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.